Yo, what up? It's Don. Sammy Lee here. Soul Brothers back up in it. Uh, this time talking about some casual shoes. What's the most comfortable casual shoes that we've worn and tested? Yes. That we would recommend to you guys. If you want to copy any of these, links are down below, as usual. Uh, but we got quite a few. There's a lot of comfortable shoes out there. Yes. It's crazy. Yes. Um, and we're trying to think of some other shoes that kind of aren't like the, uh, you know, biggest, most hype shoes you would think about. Mm -hmm. But just overall, what's the most comfortable shoes, you know? Yeah. So, so uh, comfortable shoe for us, just casually, casually, is the cushion needs to be soft. We like to have a really soft cushion. And then the upper needs to be really soft as well. We like to have it, you know, just comfortable upper. You know, like, if it's a fly knit or a knit, that's a plus. If it stretches over your foot real nice, that's a plus. Um, it doesn't have to be the case, but we just like to have a really soft knit upper. And that's about it, right? Yeah, I mean, it helps if it's like somewhat minimal. I, I don't yeah, like to yeah. wear a big bulky shoe yeah. when I'm rolling around casually. Because this guy's a big ass foot. Yeah. So uh, you like to have a really minimal shoe. I, I do. Me, I'm like not as much because I have a really small foot. Right. But I also do like to have a minimal shoe, you know? So um, anyways, if you guys want to cop any of these, we'll try to leave links in the description box. And also some of them are kind of old, um, but... Um, it, you might still be able to get them because we've seen them at the outlets, you know? So anyways, uh, first shoe is the Solar Boost or Solar Glider. Is that what it's called? Right? I think, yeah. You solar, tested these. Yeah, they, they're nuts. I mean, the cushion is off the charts. Um, it reminds me of a lot of uh, a lot of another shoe that's on this list that we're going to talk about very yes. soon. But uh, yeah, the upper is super nice, super comfortable. Um, I think they're marketing it as like a runner, maybe like a long distance runner. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I don't know if it's the best running shoe. We're not like high, uh, high level runners or anything, but just walking around casually. I mean, they're super duper comfortable. And they're at the outlets right now. Yeah, they're at the outlets. I mean, it's an expensive yeah. shoe. I think they're like 180 160. retail, 160, yeah. 180 retail. But uh, yeah, comfortable nonetheless. Yes, next shoe is the Epic React. And you guys already know. And the Epic React 2.0, I tried those on and those are a lot soft. Well, not a lot, but like a good amount softer and a little bit squishier, but like also a little bit bouncier. It's really weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, I, they definitely did change up the uh, React compound, I would say, because that's what uh, my Nike guy said, or he's lying to me and it's placebo. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the 2.0 is really comfortable. I'd say it's a little bit more comfortable just as far as the cushion goes. But the 1.0 is still really nice. Uh, the React is just... On something else, man. It's that crazy. React is real nice, and also the knit upper. I mean, right now it's super cold, so I wouldn't recommend it. But the knit upper is just very thin, very yeah, breathable. Exactly. Uh, reminds us a lot of the Lunar Epic, uh, mm. which was very, very minimal, but had yeah. like a nice, bouncy, bouncy cushion. Exactly. So that's cool. All right, next shoe is the Proto React, which you know I'm testing right now, but I I've been uh, walking around in them a lot. What is that? It's just a casual shoe. It's what a casual shoe. Right. Yeah, it's not it's not a basketball shoe, but some people think it's a basketball shoe, so they're like, right. what are you doing? But it, <laughs> it's a casual shoe, or it's, it, it was intended to be a casual shoe, and I play ball in it, obviously, um, which we'll get into uh, in another video. But yeah, the the. The cushion, the React is really nice, dude. And also, it's like a soft strobe board. It's like, it's not a glued down stiff strobe board like the Epic React and like other React shoes have. So it's a lot easier to feel the React cushion underneath your foot, which is it's just really nice. Um, it is a little cage, so there's not as much compression, but it's, it's just React, that, that React is just really nice. I, I also, I wonder if that's a new blend. Like the Epic React 2.0. Maybe. They often yeah. just tinker with, with the compounds and without even telling you. Yeah, exactly. But uh, pure raw React is nice. As, yes. As you can tell, it's going to be on this list quite a bit. Yeah, and then the upper is not... I mean, it's really comfortable. It's super soft and conforms to your foot really well, but it's not super stretchy or anything. And it's kind of hot. Mm. Uh, well, it's good for right now because it's cold, but uh, when it gets hotter, it'll probably not be the best. But anyways, How much are those? Uh, 150. Not yes. too bad. It's a real comfortable shoe. Next shoe is a Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Um, very comfortable. The Boost is caged, but like it's really easy to feel it. And uh, the material is uh, it's, it's a prime knit and conforms to your foot really well. And it's super easy to just slide on. Not the most cool, not the coolest looking shoe ever. Like yeah. I really don't like how it looks too much, but yeah, some people super obviously cool. love them. Definitely, a, yeah. definitely a high beat shoe, but. Also, it, it looks kind of, I've never, uh, uh, actually, no, I had the um, Zebras. That wasn't a V2. That is a V2. The 350? Is it? No. Yeah, it's the 350 V2, no? 
No. We don't. I don't know. We're lost, but Whatever, yeah. it's kind of a chunky midsole. Yeah, like super chunky. Yeah, but you know, super super comfortable. Yes. Next shoe is the Element React. I have not tried these on, but Donny Boy has. Yeah, I tried them on in store. You know, I, you know, we didn't do a full review and test them, but when I tried them on, it was nuts. I was like, whoa, these are crazy. The 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 fifty five, right? Not the one with the clear. Yeah, no, it was a fifty five. Oh, it, it the fifty five is the not the clear one. Yeah, no, it wasn't clear. Oh, okay, it wasn't clear. So yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, they were, they were crazy, uh, just uh, super soft. I mean, it's just yeah. it's React, so React is uh, nice. and it's like pretty much felt like pure React. Yeah. And, but uh, kind of a big chunky shoe. Um, so I don't know. Uh, next shoe is the EXP. Next, it, it was the 15, EXP 15, 14 or something like that. EXP, yeah. some number. Yeah. Um, but not too expensive. Not I mean, too, in yeah. comparison to some of these shoes. No, I got it for 40 bucks at the outlet, dude. Yeah. No, it was, it was like 40 bucks plus like 30 percent off. Yeah. Or so I got it for like 30 something dollars with tax and all that. Super cool! I'm so happy I got those, man. Yeah, they're gnarly. They're so nice. The shape of the outsole is really nice to walk in. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, the upper is very, very, very thin and like kind of a dope material. Yeah. Pretty breathable as well. One thing that sucks is I thought it was waterproof, but it's not. Yeah, no. It's not. You, you think that plastic clear material would be waterproof, but it's not. So. Is that not to you one of the most annoying shoes to put on? And it, take is, off? it is. That's one thing that sucks. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only bad thing about that shoe. Well, I don't, I don't tie it, tie it all the way. I don't even. Right. I just really loose, so it's really easy to put on. Yeah. But it, it does slide around a little bit if I do, if I don't tie it. So yeah, yeah that's kind of annoying. Uh, but yeah, really nice and comfortable shoe that you guys can get, and also probably would be cheapest, one of the cheapest shoes on this list. Mm -hmm. uh, next shoe is the Pegasus Thirty Five. It's a straight up runner, but it has a full length zoom and full length cushion. And it's just insane, right? If you like to feel zoom, especially in just a casual shoe with a soft cushion, then get the shoe. And the materials are really soft and real thin as well. So uh, really good for running and really good for just casually walking around. All right, next shoe is the Ultra Boost 19. Yeah, you guys already know, yes. uh, it's always been one of the most comfortable shoes and this time uh, it's no different. Actually, it's probably a little more comfortable as far as cushion if you're talking about, uh, it depends on what you like, but the 18 kind of, or just the previous Ultra Boost were kind of bottomed out a little bit in the heel. Yeah. These are a little bit more bouncy. Um, it is a little bit more chunky, but um, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. The knit upper is super uh, thin and soft and easy cozy. Easy to slide on. Really easy to put on. Yes. Also really expensive, uh, coming in at 180. Yes. Uh, all right, next shoe is the Hover Phantom or Sonic. You know, uh, Hover cushioning is really uh, nice and soft, especially in, under Armour's running shoes. So yeah, really comfortable, easy to put on and slide on. Knit upper is really thin and soft, and especially in the Sonics, it's very, very well ventilated. So yeah, crazy ventilated yes. in the Sonics. Yes. Um, and then the hover cushion in both is very, very nice, probably more so in the Phantoms. It's a little bit more responsive than most of these. Yeah. All right, next shoe is the uh, Vapor Street, which is right over here. Which is maybe the lightest shoe ever made. Yes. I mean, it's stupid. How much is this way? I'm like, what, like six, five? 6.35 ounces. Yeah, super light. Uh, very minimal. It's full length React, and the React is super thick. And it's just. Dude, I should have gotten that. Yeah, I, I, I had a. There, there was a pair of these. Uh, it was like a beige colorway for 40 bucks in my size. And I, I yeah. Made, uh, I'm stupid. Crazy. I should have gotten them, but. Very, very, very comfortable. I'd say it's one of the most comfortable shoes in on this list. So, if you want, if you want super comfortable, how much are those? Oh, it's fucking expensive, dude. 180 or something like yeah. that. But it's on sale, dude. It's, yeah. it's been at the outlets for a long time. So, anyways, next shoe is the Zoom Fly. It's an older shoe. Uh, it has full length Lunalon. Who Nike doesn't use Lunalon no more, you know? Yeah, I like um, Lunalon. I like Lunalon though, but React is a definite yeah. like plus, you yeah. know. But yeah, so Zoom Flights, it's cheap, it's everywhere. You can get it for you know, on sale for a really good price. And yeah, it does bottom out pretty fast though. Mm -hmm. So just watch out for that. But when you first get it, it's a really nice, comfortable shoe. The upper is very thin, very minimal feeling shoe as well. If you're you know walking around all day you know, or you're working, uh, it's a nice shoe to have, so. All right, last but not least, if you like Air Max, we, I don't like Air Max at all. Um, but if you do like Air Max and the feeling of, 
I guess just a lot of compression, then get the Air Max 270. The 720 is not as comfortable in my opinion, so I just say just stick with the 270. But if you if you like a really crazy, you know, Air Max setup, then get the 720. But I say the 270 is more comfortable. So uh, there's that. But anyways, my favorite shoe and my the most comfortable shoe here for me, I say is the Vapor Street. Mm -hmm. And the best looking shoe here for me is I don't know, man. I like the Element React a lot. Yeah, I, I like the EXPs or the EXP aesthetically yeah, too. Exactly. I actually like the Phantoms, the way the Phantoms look a lot. Mm. Um, yeah, but yeah, so if you guys want to be comfortable, then get any of these shoes and you guys should be good to go. Yup. Like, and, and they are in the link in the description box, but hope we helped you guys out and we'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.